Mabuhai, Kamustika, welcome. How are you? This is Bob from Love Beyond the Sea. Today's video, I want to talk about stressors. What stresses your Filipina out? Just make sure it isn't you. As a husband to a Filipina that I petitioned to come to America, I have been concerned that she is able to adjust well to leaving the Philippines and moving so far away from her family and friends. Some things she will get better at adapting to, such as weather, um, not being with her family in person, hearing English all the time, and having to be on time to her scheduled appointments. However, there will be other things that come up that cause her stress that she couldn't have planned. This video will be about knowing the things that cause stress in her life, what drains her physical and emotional energy, what she deals with that she did not anticipate. Please subscribe to Love Beyond the Sea because I want to help foreign men consider dating and marrying a Filipina. That's a woman from the Philippines and I will offer what I've learned in being married for six years now. Share the videos with anyone interested in a Filipina wife and as always your comments are welcome. I want to make marriage great again. What I say works with any woman who isn't a feminist. I wasn't planning on saying this, but I decided to, and that is to do all that you can to make sure that you are not responsible for causing stress to your Filipina. You and I are going to cause some stress simply by virtue of being human, but I assume you want to make amends quickly and try to learn from past experiences. I'm not referring to the expected disagreements and doing some things that irritate each other now and then. What I am referring to is that I must be sure not to be the cause of continued vexation to her and either don't know what bothers her or don't care. What is the harm in asking her if there is something you do that irritates her? You will need to adjust to each other, but I don't think that, you, that that means that neither of you care what kind of impression that you make and what kind of impact that you have on each other. My wife knows that I am more verbal, but that doesn't mean that I have to hit her with a barrage of comments as soon as she comes home from work. I might be more talkative to um, someone else than to her because of that, and she would appreciate that. I am always working on my patience, and that's a requirement for any lasting marriage. Asking her to be in videos, for example, causes her stress. So I have to be careful about how I do that. Our different personalities can be a cause of stress if one is more laid back and the other is more intense. Most of the time, there's probably a big difference between the personality of the husband and the wife. I'm definitely more intense and that can scare my wife. Sometimes it can scare me because she is um, generally calmer and more mild. I want results now or yesterday would be fine. She is a little more deliberate. You don't want your sexual differences to exasperate each other. It comes down to communicating to make sure things are okay. It may be that the um, pace of life, such as it is in America, will be stressful to her. That is not to say that she didn't have responsibility and work hard in the Philippines, only that here, you know, it's on a regular, under, uninterrupted schedule. Workers need to show up on time all the time. And that might be a little different than what she experienced back home. Here we work and try to save, and she might have a little trouble adjusting to what we sometimes call the grind, working day after day, seemingly just to keep our heads above water. We have all kinds of bills, considering, you know, internet, cable, garage, water, phone, electricity, heat, a bunch of taxes, and it can feel like we are working simply to be able to pay for those things. That could prove frustrating for your Filipino wife. Now, in our case, my wife is very ambitious and has excellent energy, but I think she needs me to support her as much as I can without, or with allowing her to buy things for herself with her hard-earned money. I don't want to control everything that she goes out and works for. I compliment her as much as I can because at work, she might not hear a lot of good things. I allow her the space she needs to communicate with her family and enjoy um, joining in with them myself, if I can sneak in there with those conversations. My wife does so many things around the house. She is such a good wife in many ways, and the person who has the most influence in her life should be me. 
So she needs to often hear from me how, how much I appreciate everything that she is involved with, ne never taking her for granted. I need to let her know that all her efforts make a big difference in our marriage. Something that fits in here is that she will be sending money back home as much as she feels responsible for. This is somewhat of an obligation, but there may be some pressure to do it that it could feel like a burden to your Filipino wife. She's working regularly, if not overtime, so much of it could go to her family. That is, um, and as possible, she might not get a lot of satisfaction from her hard work, you know, if she's never really seeing it. So you have to be careful with that. This is where I think it's important to tell her that she is a good daughter and sibling, but also encourage her that she needs to take care of herself. She has an obligation to you as your wife. You need her too. You need her company. You need her attention. You need her to take care of herself. Encourage her to slow down and take care of herself. Help her feel good about herself. Tell her she works hard and well. Honestly, in the workplace, a thing is possible. You could go the entire year and not hear that you are doing a good job and that anybody appreciates you. Maybe one time during your annual review, but supervisors don't seem to be as involved as they used to be when I started working. Maybe they're pulled in different directions and only seem to be involved with their personnel when there's a problem, but still that is no excuse. Your Filipino wife needs to hear from her husband that she is appreciated. I need to ask my wife more if something is becoming a burden to her and how I might be able to help. My wife is very responsible and might not even tell me if there is something that bothers her. So it is important that I take the initiative to ask her. Since she is also on the quiet side, this might make it more difficult for her to even speak up. So again, I need to make sure I am not just observing her, but also talking to her about her day and if there isn't, if there's anything she isn't happy with and to tell me about that. It took a while before my wife started opening up to me. I suppose since she was private before I married her, I shouldn't be surprised that she is private after I married her. I like to think that she will feel safe with me, that I am not going to criticize for being stressed out about certain things, and that she will want to initiate talking to me about things that bother her before they become bigger problems. She just wouldn't do it as quickly as I would. Since my mother lives with us, I need to be aware of any conflict or personality clash between them. She is um, almost 88 and likely pretty set in her ways. Now she is living with a much younger uh, daughter-in-law who has her own ideas and is a strong-willed person. Overall, this has gone well for us. In private, my mother will say something to me, and in private, my wife will say something to me. All I try to do is to be positive with my wife and try to help her see the big picture all of us living in harmony. I help her see what I know about my mother and how to work with that. With my mother, I try to help her see Isa's perspective and background, remind her that she should consider um, it Isa's house here to arrange any way she wants. We certainly don't need friction between the two of them. I also remind my wife that she comes first, my wife. I will support her and I remind my mother that I need to support my wife. I need to take her side of things. I am glad that my wife and mother have um, quietly uh, brought things to my attention without sparks flying. I appreciate that. They're going about it in the right way. Our home needs, needs to be a place that uh, my wife can be to get away from problems or at least have a safe place to discuss them. The, my support of my wife certainly helps alleviate stress. A situation that my wife increasingly talked about was how she didn't like getting up early in the morning, so early for her on first shift, and she wasn't used to it. Initially, we worked my hours because my wife hadn't learned how to drive, and it was more convenient to go to work together and um, come home together. Since then, she's told me many times she wasn't comfortable with it, and I would respond with my concern that I didn't want to be apart from her any more than I needed to be. I liked things the way they were. Eventually, I realized that it wasn't fair to her to insist that she stay home or stay on first shift or uh, day shift. She isn't really wired for that. I've always told her I took her well-being seriously, but I was not expecting her to not like the shift she was on. I thought that allowing her to change shifts, it was best for her, was the best thing to do. 
It was only half the days, and if she couldn't handle an irregular sleep schedule, then she was willing to try something else. She volunteered to run some errands I would normally do so that I would be able to come straight home with her and have more time before she left for work, and it went okay for a while. Now our situation is completely different with me at home. This involved a sacrifice for me, but I've always maintained with her that her needs come first. This is the kind of thing that makes her realize I am serious about that. And if it doesn't work out, as it um, you know isn't working out like she thought it would, then she knows that we discussed it from different angles and, she, and that I agreed that she could try it. This is a way of making a lot of deposits, a lot of credits being made to uh, my respect account. She will respect that I worked with her on something like this after fully airing my concerns and fully trying to understand hers. My wife is kind of a superwoman at this time. I have heard other men married to Filipinas say that the same thing. You know, their Filipinas um, are just like uh, Wonder Woman. What we need to do is watch over them. Be prepared to get s to set some boundaries so they don't wear themselves out and that they have time for relationships with family and friends and, of course, their husbands. Be prepared to try to alleviate stress from your love beyond the sea.